What is up everybody? This is Easy Easy Street Gaming. Welcome to another Brutal Age video. This is on the four star partner series. This is Green Double Blade Girl. She's a kind of a specialty partner. You're going to use her mostly. The most effective place that we're going to use her is in the third awakening function. You, you'll see right here. Uh, I'll click on this four star partner. Double Blade Girl is used to upgrade the four star partners in the third awakening function. You see you need two of them to upgrade one partner. So you want as many of these saved up as you can. That will it will really help you a lot. Um, it's an odd thing to say that you don't want to really upgrade uh, your any one of your partners. And if you you know if you like them, fine. They're they're great partners, but they may be replaced later on by five stars. So, but they are always be useful in the in the in the third awakening function. Okay, so the first attack is called the triple slash. It's all three colors have the triple slash. So we'll, we'll do it right here. Easily takes him out. She's in a higher level than they are, so. The next attack is called the Body Strike. That's strike an enemy and recover hit points by damage dealt to the enemy. If uh, the recovered hit points exceed the maximum hit points that you have, the exceeded hit points will turn into a shield for two rounds. So let's see. She's got a lot less. Okay. The third skill is called Hilt Strike. It claims to attack with the hilt, but it actually turns the blade on the enemy. It also inflicts slow, attack reduce, defense reduce on the enemy for two rounds. It's a huge attack that she does. That's her biggest attack. She just did 15,000 damage. Leader skill. She's got 40% attack to all wild partners. That's all the green partners. So if she's the leader and you have a team full of green partners, they'll all get 40% attack. Her legion skill, the legion skills mean that when she attack, uh, your partners will attack during a player versus player uh, army attack, and before the army actually attacks, the the partners will attack. And if she lives through the uh, the partner battle, then all of their warriors will their morale will be reduced by forty. You can see her basic stats here, but now when she gets up to the six star third awakening, her stats go way up. Okay, so her first skill gets upgraded on the third awakening. Um, it, it goes from attacking an enemy, enemy three times with a bone blade. It, it gets upgraded to attack an enemy three times with a bone blade. Each attack has a 15% chance to blind the enemy for two rounds. Not a huge um, increase, but but still something that's that can be really handy. War patterns. Other players are using Smilodon and Wolf or Smilodon and Hippo. Smilodon is is uh, the attack war pattern. Hippo was a health health hit po uh, hit point. And uh, Wolf is the critical rate war pattern. Most people use Smile It On on her. So what I would suggest for everyone is to use left hand speed. Use speed on the left hand to get her as, as many attacks as you can. And then for the head and the right hand, use attack percentage. And you see that I don't have Smile It On and that's a really popular war pattern. Well, the reason why I don't use Smile It On is because I'm going for... I, I'm trying to use the advanced war patterns, the gold or the purple, down in the bottom three. And I'm trying to make sure that I get attack percentage in one of in one of the lower attributes. And if, if it takes a little bit of luck too. If I can get two or three upgrades on that attack percentage down in the bottom three, and get at least ten percent plus ten percent attack on, on the bottom three, well that almost completely makes up for the Smilodon that I that I don't use, which is 40% attack. So I'll, I'll replace that 40% attack with 30% attack from my war patterns down bottom, and then I have four slots that are open. And I can use other war patterns like uh, defense or health to help her out in some of her weaknesses. Even though I suggest not doing that usually. But that's how you see a lot of other good, good players. Uh, they don't use war patterns that you think that they should use yet. They still have really good stats on them all. Well, they're making sure they're using those gold and, and those purple war patterns to their advantage. And they're, and they're getting them down the bottom three. Artifacts. I don't have any on her because I don't ever use her. But... If this is if you're a newer player and this is going to be one of your if you get her early in the game she's a huge partner um, she'll be replaced later on by five star partners but in the beginning she's a really big partner you want to get an artifact on her right away try to get your artifacts up you have to use four star partners to get them to two star you have to use I think five of them so they don't come easy at first I know but uh, after a while you'll start getting a lot of them so you really want for your artifacts you really want them all to be at least two star and try to be, get them all 15 level 15 or higher and that's when they really start to be effective you, if you have an artifact on her it's like night and day the effects that 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 she has on the other on the other team overall 
she can't really compete with a five star partner of equal caliber because she her, her attacks are great but in order to keep her attacks up so high her health suffers that's why I have this type of lineup here where I have health 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 and then defense that was to try to keep her alive because she was killed so easily even though she's got a good attack now she's one of the three third awakened partners she uh, her the marksman and the and the fierce beast are used to upgrade all of the partners to, to the third awakened so she, her real value is right there um, I, not to diminish her actual value as a partner in the gameplay at all but as really her real value was in the third awakened function that about wraps up green double blade girl uh, if you guys haven't been to the channel yet go check out brutal ages official youtube channel on youtube of course sub to the channel if you haven't already appreciate everyone for watching Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.